<laughs> some of those things for you as like an uh, uh, independent artist, like there's some non-negotiables that you can't, you're like, I understand that's how it usually is or traditionally is done. I just can't. The thing, you know, I'm not going to sign my name on the dotted line and do something like that. I'm not even like one of those dudes like, power to the people, fuck the label, you know? Like, it hasn't felt right for me for me to do a deal. And I, ne I, I, could, I could say, not with 100% certainty, but I'm not going to do a record deal for me, you know? What I will say is, like, I have no problem doing record deal, one-off record deals for songs, you know? So I don't want to, to answer the question, like, I don't want to give them a piece of my overall business ever. I won't do that, you know? Like, mm -hmm. like all my songs and everything I do going forward, that's where it gets messy, you know? But if every, that's what I mean by getting in bed with his label. Like, I'll do whatever, because I know the value of doing a record with Post Malone. Like, yeah. I know what, the, and I just, Love the song. I want the song. The song's called Die Bar. It's like an amazing song, you know? So it's it would just be really cool. And I know Post loves it. We went out for his birthday. I went out there. I had just wrote, and, wrote the song. And he heard it. And he just fucking sang it right there. Right in, right in a fucking Air, Airbnb that I had at the time in Utah. Really? In Park City, Utah. So Beautiful spot I've heard. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. We spent... That was where like the whole nomad thing happened. I, I that was when COVID started. I went to that when you were on the snow, the, the snow area. Yeah, that's and oh, that was Montana. Yeah, we did okay. Montana. Got you. But I went. I went. It was Yellowstone before Yellowstone. That snow area. <laughs> yeah, they're. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was tough. That's a fucking jock. We just all say. brushed over it though, like it was nothing. In that uh, <laughs> snow area. I knew yeah. exactly what you meant. Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what you meant. Um, but yeah, I mean, we went right when COVID started, went out, it was his birthday. We stayed out there for a few months in Utah and that was what opened my eyes. I was like, I gotta get the fuck out of LA. Mm -hmm. I just felt better every day waking up, you know, it was like a, literally like a, just in the air felt better. So that, that was kind of what pushed me over the edge. We sold it, sold and left and we were on our way. When you're on the outside looking in on LA, you're like, wow, seems beautiful. Beverly Hills, all the beautiful people, mm -hmm. great weather, beaches and stuff like that. <clears throat> but the more time you spend there and the more people you hear talk about it, it's like kind of tough. But there are people that love it. Like Brandon Schaub was on the podcast and he said, he's like, you get what you pay for with the taxes. It's unbelievable. I live he's like, that. I don't know what Rogan's talking about. He doesn't fucking, yeah. he doesn't encounter any of the bullshit he says. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Brandon's yeah. my fucking guy. He's the man. I mean, he, uh, it's, it's like, I think it was Theo Vaughn who said, he said this really well. He said, he likened it to a layover yeah. in LA. It's like, you go, you're, you're not there for, forever. You're not staying there, you know? And, like, mm -hmm. everyone's kind of going there and trying to get something from the place. And it's not to say, like, the people, like, individually, like, there's a lot of great people there. Like, when people say, oh, the people suck in L.A., like, it's, it's not, like, fair to give it a you blanket. generalize everybody. Yeah, it's not no. a blanket statement yeah. thing whatsoever. But the general vibe, it's kind of like, it doesn't have a comfort. You know what I mean? There's no like comfort. Everyone's like trying to scale the wall and get higher and no you somebody know who meets somebody. And you know, yes. Oh, yeah. Like the girl, even girls, like, oh, I was at Bieber's last night and then Jeezy's and then like it's just like always and and like it's legitimate because if they fuck around and you know fuck Jeezy that night, who he's fucking everyone, mm -hmm. and and um, <laughs> just know he means it, you know? yeah, <laughs> and, he, and he means it. <laughs> he's a good dude, he's great dude, but like. There's there's opportunity there for these women. Not maybe maybe Jeezy isn't the best example, but like you know what we'll I mean. Say, we'll say Jeezy, but we don't mean Jeezy. Yeah, I don't yeah. even mean it. It's just yeah, it, like literally, like there's opportunity for. I mean, we talk about attention being monetized. Like, I know girls that went out there with twenty thousand followers and got two million is because they dated a few guys. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So like that's a real thing too. And. I wish guys could do that. It's just like the style. Of, yeah, I swear to God. Well, I'm Imagine. dating him. Go out. That's what me and Mike are doing right now. Chicks. He dated Kardashian for a couple weeks. It's I'm over. I'm dating Mike right now. Oh, yeah? <laughs> He's putting me on. There you He's go, baby. My numbers are going up. <laughs> and I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to go pick up G-Eazy. <laughs> <laughs> and once I'm done, I'm on a world tour. It might be a little rough with you, though. You never know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on. Grass is always greener. Yes, yeah. No, it's just the style out there in L.A., man. I mean, you said it right. Individually, people can be great. I have a ton of friends out there. I miss it out there, but... um. Yeah, it's like the style of like the social life is just uh, is not not for me, you know. I feel like they can I hope you guys like this clip. If you want to continue to be for the boys, you need to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, and check out our playlist. We have all the links right here on the screen. As always, biggest of hugs and tiniest of kisses. Also, go check out the full episodes. But always for the boys.